The glacier-covered Mount Baker is one of the most active volcanoes in the lower 48 U.S. states, as in the last 1,000 years it has erupted 18 times. With this being said, all of its recent eruptions, the last of which occurred in 1884, were relatively small, largely consisting of small phreatic explosions at its summit. However, the eruptions from this volcano were not always so small. In fact, this volcanic field once produced a catastrophic eruption, which buried the distant towns of Seattle and Wenatchee in a foot of ash. Closer to the eruption site, the eruption produced even more drastic results. Some areas were buried in more than 3,300 feet or one kilometer of ash, which had a distinctive white color still prominent today. However, at the source of the eruption was a one-mile deep hole in the ground. All of this occurred during the formation of the Kolshan caldera, which originated in a mega-eruption 1.15 million years ago. The Kolshan caldera is located in far northwestern Washington state, where it is located in close proximity to the border with Canada. The site of this massive eruption can be found on the highly eroded northeast flank of Mount Baker, where its distinctive white ash can be even seen from satellite. Although the caldera rim has largely eroded away, the original caldera measured 5.8 miles wide and 3.2 miles long. Long before Mount Baker began to form, the volcanic field which it is a part of was active. Offshore of the state, the one day Fuga tectonic plate collided with and subducted underneath the North American plate. The melted crust from this collision then migrated upwards, erupting on the surface and forming a chain of volcanoes. One of these intrusions of magma resulted in an eruption at the site of the eventual Kolshan caldera approximately 1.3 million years ago. This eruption began with an explosion as the magma interacted with nearby groundwater. From the newly created crater emerged a volume of highly viscous dacite magma which slowly began building into a grey-colored lava dome. Over time, more intrusions occurred, depositing dikes of magma at depth while also forming a series of small volcanic cones and lava domes. Over time, the composition of the magma in these eruptions became more silica-rich, signaling a warning sign of events to come. These eruptions continued over the next 150,000 years across more than a dozen separate vents, which never solidified into a single large volcanic edifice. Rather, if you were to have looked at the landscape pre-caldera collapse, it would have been coated with occasional large lava domes, explosion craters, and layers of ash from associated eruptions. However, the rate of eruptions was insufficient to relieve the pressure building in the underlying massive magma chamber. By 1.15 million years ago, this magma chamber was 11 kilometers wide and contained more than 100 cubic kilometers of molten rock. Finally, an intrusion of dacite magma occurred, causing the two magmas to mix, resulting in a huge volume of molten rock shooting towards the surface. After a series of small phreatic explosions, the eruption became increasingly large. Then, the top of an existing lava dome was destroyed in a powerful explosion. Millions of tons of rock subsequently shot high into the atmosphere, reaching a height of 44 kilometers or 144,000 feet. As a massive mushroom cloud grew over the volcano, part of the eruption column collapsed, releasing highly energetic pyroclastic flows. Although abundant glaciers were present at the time, these flows raced across the landscape in all directions, burning all vegetation in a 30-mile radius. To the southeast, where the ash cloud drifted, the day seemingly turned to night due to the sheer amount of falling material. Then, as the eruption had partially emptied the underlying magma chamber, the overlying rock became unstable and collapsed downwards, forming a large caldera. In total, 75 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock was erupted in less than a week. This ranks the Kolshan caldera forming eruption as the second largest to occur in the Cascade Mountain range in the last 2 million years. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.